we just had a, a little bit of an incident. I don't know where to start. So I'm just minding my own business, trying to get some um, good footage for you guys. And all hell broke out. How's it going, Jackson? It's good. Uh, disregard the bed head. Um, no, I think you look cute. Let's take some photos for the fam. That's cool. I was just coming out to show them what we're working with. Thanks for opening the door for me. Come on out. I'm not good at opening the door. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't been the easiest thing to do. So, this is it, guys. Good morning. You see my guy Freddie behind me. We're in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Yeah, we are. We woke up here. It's amazing. I've never woken up in a place like this. Me either. And you know what? I normally don't get cold. But like last night, I wasn't just a branch falling off of a tree. <laughs> False alarm. Little survival instincts kicked in. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Okay, we thought we were just getting attacked, but it's just a branch. It's fine. It's going to be fine. Or is it just a branch? Oh my gosh. Is no. there something up there dropping branches to get our attention? <laughs> Ooh. We watched Jurassic Park last night, and I was like, maybe this isn't the best movie to watch. <laughs> but um, it, this is a great way to wake up. Good morning. Good morning. I'm actually going to finish Jurassic Park here shortly. Uh, I'm going to go inside, grab something warm to drink and then come back outside, maybe start a campfire, get the drone up in the air. I gotta go check in with registration in an hour or so. Mm -hmm. so. That's on his to-do list. On my to-do list, green tea, green tea, green tea. <laughs> <laughs> so consistent with that green tea. What's going on fam? All right, so we got in late last night, so we weren't able to check in the way we were supposed to. Now I'm walking up to the registration office to check in. And it's beautiful here. This place is gorgeous. So what do you guys think of it so far? I love it. It's quiet. You hear the birds in the distance. The trees are so green and so tall and so beautiful. The air is super fresh. Everybody we've met so far has been super nice. This is gonna be our new jam. I can see it. I can feel it. Any of you guys that are, oh, the sun hit me. Any of you guys that are out there contemplating if RV life is for you, <sighs> RV life is pretty legit. There's gonna be some bad parts. We haven't experienced that yet. But thus far, RV life is pretty legit. All right, fam. Just finished the check-in process. Pretty straightforward. Had to sign a couple of documents, make my final payment on my reservation, and they kind of went over like the rules and regulations. Did not know that they had a valet trash pickup, so I'm excited about that because we've been accumulating some trash from the first night. So we're gonna leave that out, and they'll come pick that up for us. Now I'm gonna head over to the general store right over here and see what type of goodies they have. Hopefully, they have some firewood or something for us. Just left the general store. Got a few of the things that we forgot. We have some firewood. Got us a tablecloth. We didn't have that. I even got like some clips for the tablecloth to keep it in place. Bugs started to get to me last night. So I found this little candle thing that once you light it, it keeps the bugs off. Met a gentleman in there, fairly nice dude. We kind of started talking about life and like, it all puts it in perspective, man. Being able to do this RV life, you start to meet new people, new experiences, man. I like it. Ooh. All right, guys, so making my way back to Freddie and Tony Marie. This whole time, I've been so adamant about a specific type of RV that I feel like it would like suit my needs or wants if I ever were to get into that lifestyle. I like the idea of a class A. 
It's a bus. You have everything you need there. Yeah. You don't have the ability to kind of go into cities and things as comfortably as you would if you had something like a fifth wheel or a towboat because you could just drop that at your park and then drive your vehicle in. And that's why I thought like, all right, well, to mitigate that, I'd get a tow car. But as I walk around, I see all these fifth wheels and they're much cheaper, I know that. Then you would need a truck though. You would need a big heavy duty truck. A lot of thinking to do, man. But this is really opening my eyes up to all the different possibilities. She's liking the Class C right now because of the convenience and drivability. As I said earlier, it's very similar to a um, to a U-Haul. But I don't know, man. I like comfort. What do you think? Comfort in living or comfort in driving? Let me know. We have spent the morning collecting some uh, twigs, really, is what they are. I wish it was bigger, but we need stuff for firewood and we have starters. Like we thought of getting starter logs, but something to keep it going. I mean, we're in the best place possible to find some tree junk to burn. But... I got an idea, babe. <laughs> What's that, babe? This log right here? Branch. Yeah. On the other side, there's a smaller branch. Okay. That would be great for firewood. Okay. Can't really reach it. So, I'm about to use physics to my advantage. Problem is, hashtag science. It. So, I'm going to have to reach around and jump and grab that log or that branch and allow my body weight to bring it off this tree. There's rocks underneath and a decline. And I fell once already. I vote no, then. I mean, what do you guys think? Oh, please. Stay quiet if you guys think I should do it. <laughs> to be continued. Sorry, guys. Let me let you guys down. Jungle Jackson letting people down. It's cautious Tony. Tony put in some work. We got some sausage, some eggs, I'm drizzling on some Texas peat hot sauce. Okay. We got some mimosas. We talked to you about Cooper's Hawk. Let me show you something. Can you see that label? Cooper's Hawk. That was probably one of the best decisions we made signing up for that wine club we're taking advantage of it you should elevate your mimosa guys if you're still using orange juice wake up switch it up pineapple mimosa is the way to go and ours even has like a splash of mango yeah so we are um, watching some of the campers around us break down their campsites Kind of got lucky with ours. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more work that they had to do for their setup that we didn't necessarily have to do with our setup. Yeah. Which makes me think that like our class C might just mm -hmm. be the way to go. I knew she'd say that. Didn't I tell you guys earlier she'd say that? Well, that was a good breakfast, guys. It was. And now it's time to get to some more fun. Oh, oh yeah. About to get some real views of this campsite. So I send the drone up to get some good footage. I'm thinking I'm getting good footage. 
And you know what? I should have learned my lesson because earlier when I did it, I lost it. And then I was able to like find it over the heads of the trees and like bring it back to me. And that should have been like, oh, you dodged a bullet. No, it wasn't. I couldn't couldn't learn my lesson. So I went back out, Tony Marie found the trail, and I figured I'd go follow her on the trail. The way out to the trail was great. I even made it to the lake, flew over the lake. You guys will see the footage. I'll show you all the footage. And um, I brought it back. And that's where things kind of went wrong. I'm done telling you. Let me just show you what happened. That's not how it's supposed to look. Just dangling. And that came off too. I put that back. I can't put this one back. I don't know if you guys see that. Like that's broken, broken. <sighs> that's why you buy warranties, people. You buy the warranties. You buy the protection plan. You buy all the extra coverage. Because when you're drinking mimosas and you're stupid, you fly your drone when you shouldn't. If you guys would have saw the way it looked, I'm just glad that Tony Marie didn't get hurt because it kind of went haywire. So <laughs> that's the one silver lining in this is we're all okay. She she was in the line of fire. So I'm glad she's okay. I'm going to put Wally away. That's his new name. I'm going to put him away. <laughs> And uh, when we get back to town, I'm going to send him off to get a replacement Wally. Don't drink and fly, guys. <laughs>